Research by Oregon scientists showing your body's protection against COVID could last a year and likely longer if you survive the virus or perhaps if you are fully vaccinated. Oregon Health and Science University, that's OHSU, says that's the early findings in their study of COVID patients. Let's go now to our Lisa Balick, who is talking with the lead researcher to find out much more. She joins us live. So Lisa, this is very interesting in terms of our immunity. Yeah, absolutely. And what's interesting that this is essentially a sigh of relief for so many people who have been worried, what if I have to get a third COVID shot this year? This research indicating that is highly unlikely. Now, the researchers focused on 24 people, two dozen people who actually got COVID last year, ranging from people with mild symptoms to some who were hospitalized. The scientists studied regular blood samples taken from the patients enrolled in the study for the past 11 months. They found the patients has developed what's called Called memory cells in their bodies that recognize the need to make more antibodies to fight off COVID if the virus reappeared. Almost a year out, we are still able to easily identify surveying immune cells in people's blood that says that, that even a year after the first infection, our immune system is still poised, ready to protect against a repeat infection. And the sense is, is they will continue to be protecting people for some time after that. Now, the scientists also had some folks in the study who were vaccinated after being infected. They had even higher levels of antibodies to fight off another COVID attack, a sign that getting vaccinated, even for those who have had COVID, gives more protection. Although it's still a question right now whether a booster shot will be needed at some point down the road, depending on the variants. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, how can I get in on some of these studies, be a participant? I'll have more information on that coming up today at 5. Live in South Portland, Lisa Bailick, Coin 6 News.